morning friends well by the time you watch this it probably won't be the morning well it might be for some of you guys but i am saying good morning because today we have a very very exciting parcel to share with you guys now it is our paw post and this is june's box now first and foremost i have to apologize because last month for May's box, I accidentally and stupidly deleted the footage of my camera. I thought I thought I'd already backed it up on my MacBook. When I went onto my MacBook after deleting everything on my card, it wasn't there. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be able to put a pop post video up today. So I do apologise for last month missing pop post. Um, but this month we have our June box and I'm very excited to share it with you guys and I promise not to delete the footage this time but Pixie and Roxy are very very excited at the moment they're lying flaked out on the floor as usual until mummy opens the box then they'll be all in about it so will we get started are you going to come and pay attention or are you just going to look at me with those big beady sorry eyes what a week it has been there's been so much happening this week as everybody knows on my instagram and everything pixie got attacked in the park this week she's absolutely fine um, it was just a nip no breaking of the skin or anything like that but she did yelp and she did run to jamie so um and jamie did decide to text me at work while i was finishing off my 12 hour shift and tell me this and you can imagine i just about died on the spot and just wanted to hurry up and get home but she's absolutely fine, we're just taking extra caution when we're meeting other doggies at the park, aren't we? Yes. You silly cookie. You silly cookie. Okay, anyway, on with the video. So this is June's Paw Post box and it came yesterday. We've not peeked inside. I have opened it just to save a bit of time. But I've not I don't know if you can see it. <coughs> But I hope uh, nothing has leaked in this box. Okay, now will we go for it? Are you getting excited now? Yes, you are. And in last month's video, I know I never posted it, but I did state last month in our May's box, we received quite a few of the same items. Quite a few of the same items that we've received in previous boxes, and that kind of ruins the excitement of the box and I said in last month's video that I was going to wait and see what happened in this month's box to decide whether or not I'm going to email Paw Post and say look this is a great subscription box however we've been receiving the same items, the same toys month after month, same items that we've received in previous months and it's just not getting that kind of exciting or trying new things anymore so I'm going to wait and see what's in this box and decide whether or not I am going to email them and find out. So, this is the way the box comes, nicely wrapped. So let's open it up and see, will we? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Ooh. Ooh. Get them excited. You need to wait now, okay? Okay. The first thing you always get in every single box is a leaflet and this one says for every box we sell we give one pound to all dog matter all dogs matter to help dogs in need and every time we include a packet of beautiful jewels in your box another one is donated to all dogs matter they done this last year and they stopped it about christmas time and this is the first time we've started it back up again. I was wondering when they were going to do that because you do get like the refill. Excuse me. Pixie, what are you doing? Eh, eh, no. You have to be patient. No, you have no. She wants a toy. You will, you're going to need to be. Okay. No, you're being naughty. Be patient. Don't interrupt the video. Okay? You'll get it in a minute. 
Okay, now they stopped this last year and they've not started it back up again. So this is the first time they started it back up again. And we quite like the tins. The dogs aren't that keen on the actual ox liver that's in it. But we are very keen on the tins. Um, so we'll see how that goes. They might have changed, who knows. But we'll wait and see. Now she's licking my hand to try and get me to give her whatever it is that's in here. You're not getting it yet? No, and you don't look at me with those puppy eyes either. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I see in here, and I'm going to do this first so I can use it first, is the Best Petite Butch and Bess. Now, we've had these before. We've had two different scents. This one looks as if it's a different scent. It is Natural Eau de Doc for handbags and man bags, infused with patchouli and boys, I think, de rose essential oils and it's alcohol and paraben free, it's made in the UK, shake and spritz, rub it, sniff it, love it, avoid your pooch's face, inner ears and mouth, a divine mist with top notes and patchouli and rose. That looks very nice. Now the other scents that we've had with these have been really really strong and I've not really been that keen on them, but this looks as if it could be a good one. It's a pink box, so surely it's for ladies. A year and a half, she's in a half now. Now we'll just sit there and soak then. We'll just enjoy the video. Woo! <coughs> That's very, very strong. Let me just show you the box. That is the box there. I don't know if I'm getting that in the camera, sorry if I'm not. And that is the little bottle there. Are we going to have a spray? Usually I like to spray, let it settle and then smell them to see because sometimes it's just too strong to start off with. So let me cover your ears and eyes. Good girl. Let me cover your ears and eyes. Good girl. Woo! You smell like a rose garden. Beautiful. <coughs> it's a bit strong. <coughs> okay, so that is the first thing. And what does it say on here? Uh, this long-lasting natural fragrance will keep the best buddy smelling superb. Free from harsh chemicals, including alcohol, parabens, soap and dyes, this doggy perfume can be used to freshen up the coat in between baths or as a splash of decadence whenever it strikes your fancy mm. and it's got a website here I'll include that in the link below for you to go and have a wee look to see what else they have and I'm also going to go and have a wee nosy okay the next thing we have in here is the beautiful Joes and we got a tin this month oh and big chunky bits of ox liver mm -hmm. so this is a tin here so every time we get a box a dog in need gets one of these so I really really like that because you see on Paul Post's website when they go and deliver a whole batch of these and it's like big massive bags full of like ox liver so it's really really nice um, to do that and the only thing that's in here is 100% ox liver so it says you buy one we give one beautiful jewels ethical dog treats 100% natural and super tasty so, this is what it looks like in here. Now, I already have a tin, but you can never have enough tins because you can put different dog treats in it and they're very handy for going to the park and rewarding for good behaviour, if there is any good behaviour. But will we try one? There you go. Keep you away from that toy that's in here for a minute or two. Mm. Oh, she dropped it. Okay. Now, I won't bother reading out what it says on this card for that because I've already explained it anyway. Now, the next thing I am going to show you is the Woof and Brew Healthy Herbal Dog Teas. And this one is for skin and coat. Now, I'm not going to open this because we already have one of these and we've already received two of these in several boxes between several boxes 
I've received the performance one and I've received the skin and coat one and this is just the same again. So once again we've received something the same. But you can never have too many I suppose. Okay now this is the Whiff and Brew so it's basically a tea for dogs and it's just full of herbs. Um, let me see if I can get the ingredients here. Burdock, dandelion, flax, nettle, rubos and seaweed. Oh, seaweed, ugh. Um, all the herbs used in our blends are left intact rather than grounded to provide optimum, optimum nutritional benefits. Ooh, are you going to have a cup of tea later? And Misty's coming over. Are you going to have afternoon tea? Are you? Mm -hmm. So this is the, the bag here. In fact, I'm just going to open it to show you actually because that's what our, our review review's all about. So that's the packet there. And all you do is you add one doggy tea bag to 250ml of boiling water, allow it to infuse for four minutes, remove the doggy tea bag with a spoon, obviously it's not like I'm going to dip my fingers in there and burn myself. Then add a further 750ml of cold water, stir and pour the contents into your dog bowl and leave for them to enjoy. Never serve this product hot, well obviously not. Okay, so and it says here at the bottom, designed to be part of your dog's daily diet, each pooch each pouch contains enough doggy bags to make up to seven litres, enough for one dog for seven days. Now if I remember right, oh, these smell very, very strong. I can get into it. And I'll put the website down below in the description box as well. So on here it says drop a couple of ice cubes into a taste of tea to make with dill, fenugreek, ginger, lemongrass and sage for a cold refreshing beverage for your pooch. This fresh breath blend is perfect for supporting oral and digestive systems and will help keep your loved one, loved one dog breath free. Now, just to say, it says here fresh breath. I don't have the fresh breath one. I have the one for skin and coat, so I think that's just an error. But anyway, this is the wee tea bag. So it's a wee, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a wee pouch. And then it's got all these herbs and everything inside. Just put that in hot boiling water, let it sit, stir it, dump it in the bin. Bob's your uncle, you get yourself a dog's cup of tea. Ooh. Smells very <coughs> herbally. You want your smell? Oh, do you not like it? Oh no. You want your smell? She's like, no, I don't like the smell it. I don't like it. I don't ever give that to me. Anyway, that is the tea bags. Now, the next thing we have in here, I'm keeping the best till last, obviously, is a foo stick protect. Now, this would have came in handy last week when we were going through a heat wave and it was 28 degrees Celsius. I mean, I've never seen heat that hot since as a child probably. But anyway, we can still use it. So this first stick is a natural paw and nose band for dogs and it protects against winter salt, which is good. Protects against hot pavements, which we needed last week. And moisturises dry, cracked, chapped paws, toes and noses, which is good because we could probably use that just now after them being out in the hot pavements, our feet might be dry, give them a wee bit of pedicure or paw cure should I say and in this it says protect your dog's paws and noses naturally with food stick protect natural ingredients including coconut oil and beeswax form a protective paw barrier against harsh winter conditions snow salt and sand and the summer's unforgiving hot pavements a great year round soothing balm and chat for chat paws, toes and noses. 
Apply to clean dry paws before and after walks, also suitable for dry chap noses. Apply as needed. Avoid eye area, discontinue use if irritation occurs. And in this is beeswax, coconut oil, mango seed butter, castor seed oil, apricot kernel oil. Oh, so it's full of oils. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you. I'm getting too excited and just, you know, going in and opening it. So that's it there. Would you like a bit on your nose? Ha <laughs> ha Oh, you've got hydrated noses. I mean, you're not supposed to lick it. Well, that's handy. I did put some um, paw wax on them the other day. I had the kind of um, oatmeal one. So we used the oatmeal one the other day, but that's very good and that fits in your handbag, which is perfect size as well. So that is very good, so we like that. That's something that we've never really had before. Okay, now let's get into the good stuff. The next thing we have here is from Green and Wilds. Now Green and Wilds is a really, really good brand and very healthy. So the Green and Wild Love Heart Treats. These irresistible, all natural chicken and liver treats are sure to become a fast favourite with your pooch. Tasty, grain free and rich in antioxidants. What's not to love? So we are on grain free. And it is a cheeky bag of training treats, chicken and liver. Grain free, full of natural antioxidants. Wild about healthy stuff. Yum, whiff. No artificial colours, no artificial flavours, rich in liver, no dairy, no soya, grain free, natural antioxidants, which is very good. The only thing about it probably is it's got poultry meal in it. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens now. Pixie's just recovered from an upset stomach. So I'm hoping that with giving her these it doesn't upset her again. It's always the thing with trying new treats, I really need to stop and learn my lesson. Oh! Oh! Do you like it though? Do you like it? Oh! Is you want a biscuit? You don't even eat your breakfast yet. Right, let's, let's get everything out of the way. Come here. No. Come here. Come here. Roxy. Good girl. Sit. Fix your ear. Stand. Good girl. Lie down. Can I have a kiss? Good girl. Speak. 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 I didn't ask for a grill. Speak. Good girl. Ready? Stand. You're not supposed to hold on. That's cheating. No, that's cheating. No cheating. Stand. Stand. No. Oh. Oh. For goodness me. Stand. Good girl. You're not supposed to hold on. It's cheating. So they're very small and they're like a kind of love heart shape. That is it there. And that is the bag. You want another one? There you go, don't say I'm good to you. There you go. Well, they seem to like them. That is Pixie and Roxy approved. Whether or not the stomach approves, who knows? We'll just need to wait a couple of hours and find out. And the next thing we have here is the Green and Wilds 
sweet RB. Oh, if not put it on here. Okay, I'll be reading from the packet for this one. So it's the Green Wilds, darn good country venison deli sticks, cheap for dogs, ethically sourced, nutritious and delicious. Oh, tasty, good healthy stuff, 100% natural, low in fat, no additives, hypoallergenic meat in Britain. That is the packet there. Sorry if I'm not getting in the, uh, the camera. So venison has fewer calories, less fat and more iron than any other type of meat. Venison is one of the healthiest meats for your dog's heart, maybe not for your stomach. Venison provides protein to build up strong bones and muscles. Venison is also very high in B vitamins, phosphorus, selenium, if that's however you pronounce it, zinc and copper. Natural, natural air dried venison bites made from 100% pure venison meat and an edible sausage casing derived from natural collagen. No additives, gluten free, hypoallergenic. This product is naturally dried, not freeze dried, to retain all the nutrients and flavours. Any crumbs left in the packet can be sprinkled over food as an appetiser. Ooh! And the composition is 100% pure base. And that's all it's in it. Base. Just base. So. Oh. Always hate the smell of these things. So this is what it looks like here, it's a stick, it, it, I'm, I'm, showing, I'm showing the viewers what it looks like, you need to wait, no, can you, can you sit down please, thank you. This is what it looks like, it's a kind of hard stick, now unfortunately I cannot give Pixie a stick like this, because she chokes. She tends to take her time. She will sit down and before you know it she's choking and she's down to throw and then she ends up ill like what she done last time. So mummy will see you she'll break a bit off for you. Oh there you go. Do you want a bit? Sit. Good girl. Speak. Good girl. And now break a wee bit off for you. Because you've not eaten your breakfast yet, don't want to ruin it. You're going to stand. No, no holding on, no holding on. That's cheating. We've spoke about this before. You don't cheat. Stand. Good girl. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? Did you enjoy that? Well, that is pixie approved. And they stink, by the way. So I'm just going to hurry up and steal the bag. Did you like it? So that was Pixie approved and it could be Roxy approved as well. Yes, it's Roxy approved. Woohoo! Okay, now the last thing in our box is what Pixie was scratching for to start off with and she's most desperate to get her paws on. And this is the... Mutts and Hounds 100% wool toy, naturally dried and hand felted in pure wool by Nip Nipalese Astrians. This soft toy is ideal for fetching and snuggling and it is to help keep your pooch's teeth clean to boot. And each of these wool toys sold Mutts and Hounds donate one pound to the Nip Nepal Earthquake Appeal. This brand is all heart, and I'll include the website for that down below as well. This is the toy here. It is a stick. There you go. And it is from Mucks and Hounds. There is the label there. Oops, oops, oops. Oh dear. There you go. There is a the label there. Oh, let me take the tag off first before we play. Oh, join. Oh, 
into it and certain things not just YouTube videos and the odd picture here and there I am going to write a review for this I'm going to try and write a review for this as well as doing a video so look for that as well that will probably be up within the next couple of days anyway and the website link is down below also all the links are down below in the description box for all of our sites social media pages things like that so you can find us there and the recent one I've added is our snapchat um, link so if you don't see us posting videos every day be sure to check out our snapchat more or less add things for stories every day on snapchat and you get to see what dogs are up to as well which is really good so please add us it is a shih tzu life for the code but it's all down below for you to have a wee look to see what it is that you need to enter for snapchat so thank you very much you guys for watching please give us a thumbs up if you like our video and leave us a comment if you want to ask any questions or if you want to see anything leave us a comment um, and as always please subscribe to our channel and that is us so we'll catch you on the next video thank you guys again for watching and we will see you guys later bye